What's up, man? It's the pilot, and I'm back. Hey, before we get started, like, comment, subscribe to this video, tell a friend. Hey, I want to give you guys my six things that I think make us hot or make us attractive to women. All right, before we get started, go ahead and hit the like button. It does nothing but help the channel grow. I'm going to get right into it real quick now. I want to give you a disclaimer. Most of this stuff that I'm giving you, period, on my channel, okay, about, you know, fashion and all that does not work, especially on this video. The tips I'm going to give you on this video does not work in most cases with women that like street dudes, okay? So if the chick that you happen to be trying to, you know, you got a fancy for, <laughs> and you trying this out, you're like, mm, I'm going on a date with her, oh, hey, you know, she might not be attracted to guys like us, man, you know. So, number one, man, you're grooming, okay? Having, if you got a big beard, having that groom, you got a mustache, a Mario mustache, you know, it's a me. You got that trim, you got your haircut. Women love dudes that take care of their grooming and, uh, you know, their hygiene. You know, some guys, I have my friends, some of my friends, my buddies, you know, they wonder why I get a, a lot of attention from women or why they don't get a lot of attention from women. It's mainly because, dude, I mean, you, you dress like a slob. You don't get your hair cut. You don't brush your hair. You don't take care of yourself, you know? So that's very important, guys. Getting a, a haircut and all that stuff, grooming your beard, making sure your teeth are right, your breath is right, all of that good stuff. It's very important, okay? Number two, guys, women love men that smell good. I cannot, I cannot emphasize that enough. Like, I don't know how many times I've been out and it'll be a waitress or it'll be someone, you know, I'll be in a group of people and someone, you know, a woman will be like, hey man, you smell so fucking good. And to me, you know, I, I always like, cologne and stuff since I was in middle school but to me that's just a conversation starter right now for me um and a lot of times I don't really like musky smelling like super manly colognes but when I do for some reason they like that more and some of the um you know some of the fragrances I'm wearing right now is Thierry Hermes I don't know if you guys know anything about this this stuff is kind of high end I mean you can get samples but I was looking enough to get hooked up with a bottle. Um, this is just a body spray, but Nior Dior is freaking amazing. I don't have a bottle with me. Um, I actually have a sample of the cologne itself, but this is the, bo the body spray. Uh, another one that's really good is Ombre Leather. This is probably, the right now, is my favorite one from Time Forward. Um, Nior Dior is from Time Forward as well. But this one is freaking amazing ombre leather. And the last one, which is one that I found randomly a long time ago, and this one kind of on the lower end is Perry Ellis Portfolio. Uh, smells freaking amazing. Let me spray. Mm, let, me sp let me spray that one right now. Yeah, Perry Ellis Portfolio is pretty freaking good. All right, number three. I always tell you guys all the time, uh, how important it is about certain pieces in your collection, certain pieces in your your style and collection. But um, the number one thing that you need to have is this: women love dudes, in my opinion, in denim jackets. You gotta have a light wash denim jacket somewhere in your collection. It makes everything. Not only is it an easy, is it the starter kit for getting fly? I can't put mine on. I got caught in my jacket. Oh, there we go. Not only is it just a good piece to have, but it works good with everything. And women love dudes in denim jackets, man. They might not, they might not say it, but it just looks manly. Um, man, I, I, 
Dude, I, I honestly, like, I, I've got to the point. I don't know, guys, I'll be honest. I don't know if it's just me and I like denim jackets, but when I'm out and I see dudes in denim jackets, like, I look and I go and ask a guy, like, yo, where you get that from? Like, of, of all things that I see somebody wearing, if I see a guy or even a female with a nice denim jacket, I automatically go over to him. But it is just a great piece. It goes good. You can, instead of using a blazer in your outfit, if you're wearing a suit, you can use a denim jacket. It looks good. Sweatpants, it looks good. Jeans, it looks good. Slacks, whatever you want to wear, wearing the denim jacket on top of it makes it look good. A t-shirt, a jersey, uh, a hoodie. You can even put a jacket under this jacket and it looks good. And women love it, man. All right? The number, I think, what were we on? Number four? Number four. If you're going to wear a denim jacket, you got to show your forearms, dog. Like, I don't know what it is, but women love it. I think it's mainly the vascularity of your arms. You look a little bit more manly, a little bit more tough, a little bit more brute. And women love it. You got to roll your sleeves up. Even if you're not wearing a denim jacket, you're wearing a button-up, show your forearm. You're wearing a flannel, roll it up, show your forearm, dude. Not only does it look good aesthetically, um, just period, all around, but women absolutely love when you're showing your forearms, all right? Now, since we got down to the forearm part, what leads? You go from here, what leads down to that forearm, to that wrist love? Is a watch. Guys, I wear an Apple Watch. I have a million different bands. Um, it's really, really weird um, that I get complimented on my watch and the bands that I have almost more than anything that I wear. Um, and like like I said, with, with these Apple Watch bands, these are really, you can get them really cheap on different um, third party sites outside of Apple. And these bands look a whole lot better, you know. Um, but as far as wearing a watch, guys, women love guys that wear watches. Not only does it look good aesthetically, but a person with a watch has a purpose. And a lot of women know that a dude that wears a watch, he cares about time. He cares about being timely. And that's really attractive to women, man. Um, it's really, really important that if you are a grown man, you need to wear a watch. Now, don't get the big bulky one. You don't have to do that. Honestly, the smaller, the better, because it looks more sleek. If you try to decide on what type of watch to get, man, just go with an all-black watch if you can. Something with like a rubber band type band on it. Or you can go with a gold or a silver watch. But my watch right here, it kind of has like that Rolex feel on it. But I've been wearing this Apple Watch since they came. I could probably got the first wave of Apple Watches. And I just have at least at least 20 different types of bands that I swap out depending on how I feel. But a watch is very important. So that's number five. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple bonus ones. Okay, number six. Women love when you wear a hat or like glasses or shades. It's like accessories. And those, those two accessories or accessories that aren't too much like me i wear like a daily earring or something like that or i wear like a tie for no reason with a with a with a flannel and that's too much for everybody wearing something like just like a nice pair of shades you know or like throwing on one of my favorite hats is a fedora okay i mean look at this outfit i got on i got a gray t-shirt denim jacket Shades. I don't know if these shades go really well with this hat, but you know what I mean. I would normally wear, I would normally wear my glasses. You wear some type of stylish glasses or something. Ooh, these are all, all dirty. <laughs> but you guys get what I mean, okay? A hat, shades, some form of glasses. You don't even have to be prescribed. Some of you guys don't realize that you wear glasses every day and it looks good on you, man. Um, it's it's a good part of your appearance. But man, glasses and shades are great. It doesn't matter. Try to stay away from the shades that are really, really, really bulky. I have a pair of expensive Gucci shades that are way too big for my head and my face and my eyes. And I never wear them because they're just too big. Something real nice and sleek. And what I, I encourage you guys to do is make sure when you buy shades, don't buy shades offline. If you haven't tried them on, you don't have a pair that are like those yourself because you never know what they look like until you put them on your face. So try when you do buy shades, make sure 
that you try them on in store first to see if they fit your aesthetic and fit your face. Uh, as far as hats, man, dad hats are great. And my favorite for doors, it turns up any outfit that you may have, all right? And the last one, that was that was number six. The last one, that's a bonus I'm going to give you guys, all right? Now, everybody likes, or a lot of people like cocktails. When you go out, go to a bar, go to a restaurant, go to an event, okay? Um, a lot of guys like to grab a, a beer or get something like, you know, whiskey or, you know, and Coke and all the mixed drinks cool but let me tell you the most sexy thing you can have in your hand when you're at a bar restaurant or one of these events a tall <laughs> my glass is dirty because i've been drinking a tall glass of wine man it's preferably red um listen i'll tell you the number one reason why women love this regardless of what like scenery you're in or what type of party you're in or what type of restaurant you're in it just makes you look sophisticated and bougie think about it if 